good morning students welcome back to our class yes see in last class what you learned children yes in last class we have learned about long and short which is long object which is short object and measurement of length which is short which is long and two fixed measures they are what is that yes one is centimeter and one is meter centimeter in short we write it as cm cm is centimeter meter in short we write it as m m means meter cm is centimeter yes is it clear children yes today we will continue the same chapter that is the long and short of it same chapter yes you have studio book with you volume 1 studio book open page number 91 open page number 91 yes here one fact one activity is there that is king kind in 5.8 see here yes king kind in activity 5.8 here instruction is the instruction is there i will read you have to follow first categorize the given objects depending on whether their length or height whether their length length means like this height means long is usually measured in centimeters or meters in the thinking organizer see in last class i told you which objects are measured in centimeter which objects are measured in meter larger objects are measured in meter smaller objects are measured in centimeter yes here this tree is there they gave tree in that some objects they gave some have uh, some objects are long and some objects are short see now you see centimeter sign meters in one ball centimeters another ball meters centimeter is in yellow color meter is in blue color see in this some of in this tree some objects are there see color the objects with yellow that measured in centimeter here objects are there which is measured in centimeter you have to give yellow color you take you all have with crayons with you yes see one is blue color one is yellow color yellow color you have to give in centimeter blue color you have to give in meter see for example first one is pencil this is pencil pencil what uh, see pencil is measured in meter or centimeter pencil is a small object it is measured in centimeter which color you have to give here yes we have to give centimeter which color is there centimeter yellow is there pencil you have to give yellow color this is yellow you have fill this circle yes what it is that yes like this next sari 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 long or short yes cloth sari means cloth cloth are long it is measured in meter or centimeter yes it is long object it is measured in meter meter means color the objects blue that measured in meter you have to give blue color this is sari which color you have to give here you have to give blue color fill this yes 
like this only you have to give all objects in this tree see pencil is measured in centimeter saw is measured in meter car is car is measured in meter bus measured in meter like this only which objects are measured in meter you have to give blue color which object is measured in centimeter that you have to give yellow color see children these three you have to color it you complete this activity in home only okay is it clear yes next why can would you wish to have a tree in your house whose height is less than 1 meter or more than 2 meter share with your parents share with your parents share with your friends pets share with your brothers or sisters okay and i go to next page yes open page number 92 open page number 92 Here, look these activities there. Five point nine. I will read instruction. You have to follow. Mala wanted to buy table cloth. Mala wanted to buy table cloth. She wanted to measure the length of her table using a scale, but she could not find one at home. Suggest ways by which she can measure the length of her table. Is yes. Mala? She did not have scale. How she will measure? How she will measure? Yes, you have to write here in kind. Write here. When it is not possible to use fixed measures like meter or what are fixed measures? Is yes. meter right? Centimeter. we are not measuring fixed measures we use measures like hand span foot span cubic see last class i told you what is hand span this is called hand span you can measure you can use this hand span to measure the length of table cloth yes when it is not possible to use fixed measures like centimeter or meter we use measures like foot span cubic and so on to measure the length of objects yes you have to write in this blanks is it clear yes next here companion picture sorry pending picture is there you have to open companion book Yes, companion book, page number fifty-four, five C. Activities five C. Project time. Open this page number fifty-four. Yes, ready? Okay. Here one instruction is there. I will read in how to follow. Identify objects around you. whose length can be measured using a centimeter scale i will repeat again one time identify objects around you whose length can be measured in using a centimeter scale measure the length of the closest measure i fill in the table below here two one table they gave two columns are there one is name of the objects another is measure in centimeter only you have measure in centimeter centimeter means only you have measure small objects see find the when you are in home no? now you find the objects in kitchen hall you drawing room any room you can find many objects will be there for example in kitchen you can see spoon in drawing room you can see scissor see this is comb tooth brush many things it is there in your home you have to measure remote 
you have to measure this and write the numbers how you measure this yes with the help of scale centimeter scale and measure see first column name of the object for example you measuring spoon this measuring spoon first you have to write spoon here spoon you have to write second column you have to write how much centimeter spoon is how much centimeter that you have to write here second column now second any objects smaller objects third fourth fifth like this only you pick up objects and second column write their numbers yes what dear children is it clear <coughs> yes go to next page page number 55 this is question time home fun for you you have to do it home only first find the measures of each items given below some items objects are there find the measures of each items given below first is pencil first is pencil is there what the measurement it is 7 cm here you have to write 7 next new pencil how much cm is there new pencil is 10 cm here you have to write 10 next next 11 cm here you have to write 11 cm next is sharpener sharpener is 3 cm here you have to write 3 understood children this yes complete the activity complete this activity in home only go to next page page number 56 Say this is gum. Gum is five centimeter. Here you have to write five centimeter. Crayon. Crayon is eight centimeter. Here you have to write eight. Safety pin four centimeter. Here you have to write four. This all activity you have to complete in home only. Okay. Yes, is it clear? Yes. Now we have come to the end of the lesson. End of the lesson, the long and short of it. What we have learned in this lesson, children? Yes. In this chapter, we have learned long and short and measurement of objects and fixed measures. That is meters and centimeter. Centimeter in short we write it as cm. Meter we write it as m. Longer objects are measured in meters, and smaller objects are measured in centimeter. How to measure the objects in meter and centimeter with the help of scale or tape or meter rod? Anything? Yes. Have you understood this chapter? Yes, you practice in home and measure smaller objects and longer objects. Okay? Yes. Now we will go to new chapter that is how heavy is the. Take a pen and go. Open. Page number fifty-seven. Page number fifty-seven. Sixth chapter. How heavy is E? Fifth chapter. How heavy is E? Open company and go page number fifty-seven. Company and go page number fifty-seven. 
Yes, ready? Yes. In the previous class, you have learned heavy and light. When you, when we compare two objects, when we compare two objects, in that one is light and one is heavy, or both may be the same. Both may be the same. One is heavy, one is light, or both may be the same. Same means equal. Yes. Here I will show you one chart. Here types of weighing machine. There are many types of weighing weighing machine. See, like this one type of machine. Second one is this machine. We see in shop. We see in grocery shop, kirana shop. This machine we see in shop. Next, this is yes. This we can see in vegetable shop, fruit shop. Yes, no? Yes. One, two, these two are types of machines. Weighing machine. Again, here, here two are made. Here two types of machine is there. Yes. This is we see in where? Shop, big shop like big bazaar, uh, wholesale, godam shop like this, they are using this machine. This one, this can be seen public place like bus stand and railway station, hospital, people will measure their weight. Yes? Is it clear, children? Yes. Here we see different. Here we use different balances in different shops or different places. Yes. Today we are going to. Yes. Today we are going to learn about the measurement of weight. Measurement of weight. Is how is how is heavy how like uh, lighter and as heavy as here gear up. this gear up is there first we have to write date today's date we have to write in this page okay yes gear up activity is there here first question fill in the blanks with heavier Lighter or as heavy as. Okay? Yes. When, when we measure the weight, we use some weighing machines. See, look at this balance. Look at this balance. It has two pans here. Has two pans. This one pan has cake and another pan has noodle pocket. Okay? Yes. One pan is up and one pan is down. One pan is up and one pan is down. See here, pan with cake is down, pan with noodle pocket is up. Now, which is heavy here? Which is lighter here? Which is down? Cake. Cake is down. Down means it is heavy. Cake is heavy. Noodle packet? It is up. It is lighter. Yes. Here you see the noodle packet is dash than the cake. Noodle packet is dash than the cake. Noodle packet is Heavier than the cake or lighter than the cake? Yes, noodle packet is up because it is lighter than the cake. Here you have to write lighter. Next second, the cake is dashed in the noodles packet. The cake is dashed in the noodles packet. 
cake is dark noodle packet is or the cake is dash than the noodle packet the cake is heavy or lighter yes cake is heavier here you have to write heavier is it clear yes next question is the ball is dash than the pineapple here pineapple pan is down here football pan is up down is pineapple up pan is ball which is heavy here which is lighter pineapple is heavier ball is lighter the ball is dash than the pineapple the ball is dash than the pineapple the ball is lighter than the pineapple here you have to write lighter next the pineapple is dash than the ball the pineapple is dash than the ball pineapple is down it means it is heavy here you have to write heavy here have you understood children please yes can we go to next page yes next page page number 58 page number 58 next the float packet is dash than the watermelon one is watermelon one one pan has float packet the float packet is dash than the watermelon the floor packet is down watermelon is up here floor packet is heavy here you have to write heavy here the watermelon is dash than the floor packet watermelon is up it is lighter here you have to write lighter than the floor packet next question the salt packet is dash than the butter one pan has salt packet another pan has butter the salt packet is dash than the butter here salt packet is down butter is up which is heavy here yes salt packet is heavy the salt packet is dash than the butter here you have to write heavy here next the butter is lighter the butter is lighter than the salt packet the butter is up because uh, up means it is lighter here you have to write lighter yes you can fill in the blanks of this activity is for home fun these all fill in the blanks you have to write in home is it clear Yes. Next, open studio book. Open studio book. Page number ninety-five. Open studio book. Page number ninety-five. Yes. Now we will go to this chapter in pack. activity let us now do pack activity it helps to recall things we learned in previous class yes yes here instruction is there i will read you have to follow first you have to write date today's date you have to write in this page yes okay yes look at the balance this is balance in each picture use the help box below to fill in the blanks i will repeat once again look at the balance in each picture use the help box below to fill in the blank see this is your help box this is your help box the words are given in this help box some words are there first is heavier than lighter than and as heavy as see first picture see this is 
balance one pan has bow and another pan has flower vase both are the same level which is up which is down here see children yes here both are same level both are same level same level means equal equal means it is as heavy as no lighter no heavy both are same level book are book and flower vase both are same equal then you have to write here the green book is dash the flower vase flower vase means you have to write as heavy as first is heavier heavier than lighter than as as heavy as three words given in help box you have to use these three words first the green book is dash the flower vase here both are equal equal means same level here you have to write e as see next picture next picture one pan has red wood another pan has what is that cauliflower yes here also both pans are same in level same level first the red book is dash the cauliflower heavy or light both are equal equal means again you have to write as heavy as in this slides is it clear yes can i go to next page yes next page number 96 open page number 96 yes now see children how do you find which is heavy which is light yes here we use some mass of object stones yes we use some stones of grams and kilograms we generally use fixed measures to find the mass of objects two such fixed measures of mass of objects here two fixed measures are there one is kilogram one is kilogram another is gram these two fixed measures each in this kilogram in short we write it as kg this kilogram in short we write it as kg grams in short we write it as g g means grams kg means kilo grams two such fixed measures of mass kilograms and grams in short we write it kg for kilograms g for grams okay see here these mass used in selling vegetables fruits etc see this 1 kg stone is there 2 kg stone is there 50 gram stone is there 100 gram stone is there 200 gram stone is there 250 gram stone is there 500 grams stone is there like this only 1000 grams make a 1 kg this 1000 grams make a 1000 grams make a 1 kg understood yes here this chart is there yes here balance is there here some stones are there first is 50 gram stone then 100 gram stone 200 gram stone 
500 gram stone and 1 kg. Why you are writing 1 kg? Yes, these 100, sorry, 1000 grams make it 1 kg stone. 1000 grams make it 1 kg stone. Understood? Yes. <coughs> See, some stones are there. First, kilogram stones, 1 kg, 2 kg. This is kilogram stones. These are, these are gram stones. 50 grams, 100 grams, 200 grams and 250 grams and 500 grams. Yes? Yes. Next thing, next activity is look why do you think we use such fixed measures to find the mass of object? Business with your friends, your parents, anyone. Why do you think we use such fixed measures to find the mass of object? Discuss with your teacher. Here now, I am here. You are in form. You discuss with your parents, discuss with your friends, your sisters, brothers. When fixed measures like kilograms or grams are used to find mass of object, the answer will be the same even if different people measure them. Any people measure with the help of stones, the answer will be same. 1 kg means it will come another person also 1 kg only. Yes? If 200 grams means another person also it is 200 grams only. Same answer will be is there if different people measure them. Yes? Yes. Go to next page. Page number 97. Here, activity is there, 6.3. Read the number on the kg or gram stones on each pan. Fill in the blanks with heavier than, lighter than or as heavy as. One has done for you. See here. Here, see, some pictures are there, balanced pictures are there. Here, Stones are there. One pan has stone, another pan has pen. Yes? First thing. The pan is, sorry, the pen is dash than 100 grams. Here, 100 gram stone is there. Here, pen is there. 100 gram stone is down, pen is up. Which is lighter here? Pen is lighter. The pen is lighter than the 100 gram. Pen, you have to Right here, lighter than. Next, second picture, the apple. The apple is lighter than 250 grams. Here, 250 grams stone is there. Yes, next, the wheat floor. One, pan, one side, wheat floor, another side, stone. The wheat floor is dash 2 kg. This 2 kg stone is there. Wheat floor is lighter, that's heavier than 2 kg. Yes. Next, the watermelon. The watermelon is heavier than 1 kg. Okay. Go to next page. Page number 98. See these two pictures. The pack of butter is See this, this one side is butter, one, star, one side is 500 gram stone. The pack of butter is dash 500 grams. Both are equal, both are same in level. Both are same means what you have to write here? Yes, here you have to write as heavy as. Go to next picture. The cake is dash 1 kg. Here 1 kg stone is there. Another side, 1 kg cake is there. Both are same in level. Both are same in level means, here we have to write as heavy 
S. S. What did children? S. See now we wind up the class. What we learned today's class? Yes. In today we have learned when how where we have learned we compare two objects mass of objects using balance to heavier than lighter than as heavy as. Okay. Thank you, children. Thank you.